Now this is not a video I thought I'd have to make, but there's a group out there actually trying to duplicate Northwind. It's known as Project Northern. It's led by the guy I talked about earlier, named Ryan, and his team are the guys that created the new world. Uh, if you don't remember, this is the TNF remake that got reported to Roblox and content deleted several times because of the stolen assets in the game. Now instead of starting from scratch and creating their own version of Northwind, Project Northern decided to pilfer the Northwind UI assets and models, all while claiming that they're not actually copying Northwind. So today, we're going to take a look at the similarities between Northwind and this game that Project Northern is creating, trying to duplicate it. Okay, so, uh, just like the teaser video I did a couple, a couple videos ago, uh, I've got a ton of screenshots and no fucking clue where to organize them, so we're just going to plop everything on the desktop. Uh, in general, I've got this organized with Project Northern screenshots on top and Northwind ones on the bottom. Uh, these uh, various Project Northern screenshots are all taken from their teaser channels. They've got a couple of those. Um, their announcements channels, their polls channels, and just general stuff found throughout their Discord. So we'll start with the most obvious comparison, the most obvious attempt at replicating Northwind, uh, with the UI. <clears throat> so... Oh, we'll start with this one, yeah. This is Fred's version of the Northwind UI, and this is what's coming in the next update. Uh, Fred teased this, I believe, 12 26 2021 so December of last year. And this is Project Northern's fancy UI that was just teased, uh, like, yesterday. And this is actually what spurred me to make the video, because I'd seen some very similar shit in their Discord. And... Only when I really started looking did I find all of this. So let's let's break this down. For starters, Fred's UI is a lot more complicated than this one, but that's just because this one, this game is going to lack a lot of the features that Fred's game has. Uh, for those of you who are unaffiliated, Fred is Flippin' Bleep, the creator of the original Northern Frontier. <coughs> and he's also the creator of Northwind. And so yeah, you can you can very clearly see things carried over between the two UI styles. Uh, as you can see here, Northwinds, we've got the space each item <coughs> space each item takes up the monetary value of each item in pounds, whether or not it's loot lootable outside a safe zone, and whether or not this item is equipped on your person. Whereas this menu, <laughs> we've got the exact same sets of stats. Go figure. We've also got these same little things in the corners, as you can clearly see. We've also got the same little, like, reverse chevron-type design here. This sort of thing under the headers. We've also got very similar fonts used across the inventory, if not identical fonts. And <clears throat> all of these images that are actually removed. You can see the same number of categories, but every individual little decal, or whatever the hell, icon, I don't know what they're called. Every one is removed individually. And my guess, my guess is because uh, one of the previous uploads of the Project Northern uh, Frontier game, uh, New Frontier, one of theirs was actually DMCA'd because of these little image icons. They used Fred's image icons, and that got them taken down. And so my guess is they're trying to avoid that. They're trying to avoid that by removing these and replacing them with their own. Because it would be a bit too obvious if they took the exact same little icons that Fred uses. And so yeah, this is just so, so clearly a duplicate. You know, it's very clear what they're trying to replicate. Uh, and yeah, yeah, this is the upcoming UI, and this is their upcoming UI. <clears throat> Next we're going to talk about the, uh, the first screen. Actually, the second screen you get on Northwind. This one. Now, this one obviously has its flaws. <laughs> this shit needs to be centered. Uh, but you can pretty clearly see what's going on here. We've got the colonist team, the HBC team, and our native team. And this is the Project Northern one. Colonist team, HBC team, and native team in the exact same layout with the exact same font. Go figure. I don't need to spell this one out. Pretty clear what they're replicating here. And then we've got our menu selections, right? Um, and so as you can see here, this is where islands are planned to go. Or not menu selections, what am I talking about? Uh, server selection. 
and Yao Northwind, this is where they go. And now the real interesting part, we've got this, right? We've got our like custom name. Uh, on Northwind, it's a like a custom uh, randomly generated name. We've got the player count, we've got the server version, and we've got the age of the server. <clears throat> now we go to the Northwind ones, we've got the custom randomly generated name, the player count, <laughs> the server version, and the age of the server. Go figure. It's almost as if the one is based entirely off of the other. The only difference is the Northwind ones actually give you more information. You can see bounties, you can see friends, and you can see party members in the server. So, now we're going to move on to the building themselves. Uh, and I would use buildings from the playtest, or images of buildings from the playtest, but uh, I'm not actually allowed to do that. So I'm going to use the building images, or the best I can find, from the teasers. Just like how uh, this UI image is directly from Northwind teasers. So this is Fred's building in Bayeville Island. This is one of the upcoming islands. It's not just Bayeville that's coming, but Bayeville is one of them. This is the new player tutorial island. And this is the Project Northern, like, this is one of their house builds. Uh, and you can very clearly see what's going on here. Now, obviously, the Project Northern one is a good bit simpler. Uh, the windows look kind of shit. <laughs> They're really weirdly aligned, where they're like at the very edges of the house itself. Uh, there's clearly a lot more like intent going on with the window spacing and really the spacing of the other objects in this building here on Bayeville. But it's pretty clear what's being replicated in these images. And now we're going to look at a couple other things that are coming. So for starters, the Project North... Actually, no, we'll do it one image at a time here. Far off. Yeah, so for starters, right, the Project Northern people, they're bringing naval combat into their game, just like Northwind. And they're also thinking about adding house saves, <laughs> just like Northwind. And then this is what, uh, these are just more cosmetics that the Project Northern people are adding into their game. Uh, and right away you'll notice this looks just like Northwind's Fox Scarf. It's a little different, but it's very, very similar. And this looks just like Northwind's Fur Kilt. Now, the obvious difference is it's much more form-fitting, which is going to look really weird when players like use like have a walking animation. Their legs are going to seriously clip through the kilt, which is a problem with Northwind's too, but it's not as like visible in Northwind's, because Northwind's is larger. Um, and this is clearly a different model, but it's very obvious what this is based on. And then you've got the Fancy Lantern, also a slightly different model from Northwind's Fancy Lantern, but it's very clear what it's based on. And then you've got the Bandana, and you've got the tricorn with two separate colors on it. So, pretty clear what's going on there as well, because all of those things Northwind has. And then we've got the forts. Actually, no, no, we'll save the forts for... Uh, we'll save the forts for next, yeah. We'll do weapons first. Because these are weapons that are actually in their games currently. So this is the, uh, this is the uh, Project Northern... Uh, TNF Hunting Bow. It's it's made by the development studio Project Northern. It's in their game TNF The New Frontier. And this is the one that kept getting DMCA'd. <laughs> this game. Um, but anyways, this is their Hunting Bow model. Uh, <laughs> does it look similar to something? This is the Northwind Hunting Bow model. And the reason you see all these uh, little uh, this greebling all along here is because uh, you can actually add things to the Northwind Hunting Bow model. Um, but yeah, it's it's very, very obvious how similar these two items look. Uh, and they would look identical um, if it wasn't for the uh, menu, because the Northwind menu, it lowers the uh, brightness. Of it. Every item looks darker in the Northwind menu, and so this would be the exact same colors of this if it weren't for the fact that it's a view in the menu. There's no really great way to get a look at the bow in Northwind itself. At least not a way I could make work with the lighting. Uh, it's difficult because I have to replicate this lighting in a different game in Northwind to show you how similar the two bows are. But uh, it's just not really possible. So yeah, th it's very clear what's going on here. The only difference is in Northwind, uh, like, you've got these dynamic string animations where you draw back the physical arrow and loose it. Uh, <laughs> on their TNF game, you don't. You don't. You just have this string that's just stagnant. Which uh, looks really dopey, actually. It's real fucking ugly. <laughs> Uh, and so yeah, to clarify, this is not in their upcoming game. This is in a game they have currently. And the same is true for the Sharp Pistol. 
This is Northwind's Shout Pistol. This is their Shout Pistol, and the animation's kind of fucked. It's clipping into the hand way too much. But these are the two models, and you can see how similar they are. It's crazy how fucking similar. This is the same... The same is also true for the Charleston Carbine. Oh, sorry, the Charleston Musket. They call it the Charleston Musket. Um, but there are little differences that I could detect. Whereas on the Shout Pistol, I can't see a difference, period. Uh, maybe like an argument could be made uh, that the you know like the male iron sight there is it's it's rounded whereas it's squared off here like maybe but even then like I don't know it's an incredibly similar model and so the last big thing is the fort stuff because this is the most blatant like thievery that's happened so this is the Project Northern Fort uh, this is not fuck this is the TNF Fort by Project Northern. This is their TNF Fort. This is for their uh, their own British faction. It's not called Hudson's Bay Company. It's called like a... I don't remember what it's called. It's their British faction. This is the fort they get. This is what it looks like in-game. Uh, that's actually me in-game looking at the fort. This is the interior of the fort, and this is the snow-capped like, top of the fort. It actually it looks like birch. It looks like Northwind's birch log when you actually take a look at it like that. It's funny because it doesn't match their snow texture in the slightest. It looks like Northwind Boats logs, which is funny because uh, these are images of Northwind's, uh, it's the modular fort system they introduced uh, like nine months ago with Stonemore, and you can see just how similar this shit looks. Uh, the difference obviously is this is a singular structure built out of these modular fort pieces pretty much, whereas these all players can interact with and build on their own. Um, there are some very small differences the devs had to do, I guess, to keep it from being literally identical, right? So, for example, Northwind Forts have these, uh, stone areas down here. They've also, um, these, like, slits here are, uh, open on the, uh, Tina Forts. Uh, there's also a couple differences around back with the fences, and the, uh, the interior of the Northwind Fort looks a little different from, like, the, sorry, the interior of the, the corner structures, they look a little bit different, but it's incredibly clear what this is made from. You can very, very, it's hard to show them at the same time, but you can really see just how similar these two structures are. It's it's kind of frightening how close they got, uh, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it's fucking crazy just how close they got to the Northwind one. And mind you, all of these things have been in Northwind forever, right? So the Shark Pistol has been in Northwind since the game launched two, two or so years ago. Almost two and a half years ago now. Hunting Bow has been in Northwind for two years. Uh, these forts have been in Northwind for nine months. Oh, that's actually... I, I opened the TNF fort. Um, these Bayable ones, these were teased. How long ago were these teased? Um, I'm pretty sure these were teased in August. Yeah. 805-2021 is where this house is teased. There's the house itself on Bayable. That was teased in fucking August. Uh, and then this... This has been a hallmark of the game uh, since the party update, which is also about two years ago. Uh, this has been in the game since its, its inception two and a half years ago. And this was teased uh, in January. So all of these things are months old, at least. And all these Project Northern things, they don't predate it. They're, they're much, much newer. And then, yeah, uh, as I showed earlier, they're trying to copy things. Like, they're trying to put house building in their game. They're trying to put naval combat in their game. And they're trying to copy the aesthetic of Northern players. So it's incredibly obvious what's going on here. Uh, this is just scum of the earth shit. Uh, I am just kind of disgusted by people who do this. I think it's absurd how much stuff has been copied from Northwind. A game that's just objectively superior to anything these people have created. And, yeah, there's not much else to it. When this game launches, don't give it publicity. They don't deserve it. They're doing shit like this. Thank you all for watching.